Hi guys and welcome back to another video. This video I'm actually going to be sharing with you all of my mommy tips and tricks on how to handle a sick baby at home whenever you're not sick but your child is sick um, just so that way you don't get sick after they do because typically that's what happens and so these are just my tips to help you with that. The first thing that I'm showing you right now is to organize your medicine. I never did this and I wish I would have when my son was sick. We just got over sicknesses like I guess a couple weeks ago and I wish I would have done it because then I would know where everything is. This is your sign to do it. <laughs> and then what I did was I had all these little containers that I wasn't using and so I just put them all in there, all in there to organize it. But I used these two things religiously and I would write down everything that I needed and so I'm just showing you that I'm organizing it because um, I will have an organization video on how I did this and so these are some clips from that video and um, so after you organize go through all your stuff and go shopping quote unquote and fill a bag with everything that you need for your child whatever it is assess the situation see if they have a fever see if like, is it congestion? What is it? And fill a bag with all the medicine that you think would be helpful and keep that in close proximity to you. Obviously not where your children can reach it, but where you can reach it and where you can have it handy so that way you know. And then what I did was I took a piece of paper and on the back of it I put all the dosages that we would need for him with each um, medicine so that way we wouldn't have to worry about like, like I wouldn't have to come up with it every single time. Doing that was a lifesaver because I didn't have to look at the back of the bottle every time because I couldn't memorize all of them. And then also I wrote down the times that he last had medicine and I would set alarms on my phone to remind me to give him the medicine next time because with different ones, obviously it's different times and hours and stuff like that. So having that little sheet on the back of it was super helpful. The next thing is eating whole wholesome foods for you to eat it as well as your child because of the fact that you will get sick if you don't eat healthy too. So whatever you're feeding them, feed them wholesome foods, not canned chicken noodle soup, not canned this or pre-made stuff. Make something that is good whole food soup that is going to be able to feed your baby and fix him well. So I wanted to thank Art of Tea for sponsoring this portion of the video. Um, what I'm doing right now is actually making the tea. I'm putting the loose leaf tea in this bag. As you can see and um, it is all whole foods it is amazing I make my own tea so I'm kind of a tea snob but this tea is really good and I have been drinking it every time during the winter and it's incredible so if you want to try it I'll have a link down in the description box below for you to try and thank you for Art of Tea for sponsoring this video but what I'm doing is I'm just filling up my cup with the tea and I'm going to let it set um, while I get the water ready so then I pour the water in and I'm going to allow this to steep for 8 to 10 minutes and I'm just going to let it sit there with the tea bag um, for it to start to become tea. It is crucial that you take care of yourself by drinking all and eating the same foods that you would give your son or your daughter um, during this time because that way then it's reducing your risk of getting sick as well. So, the next thing I have is water by your bed for you and your child to drink. You need to make sure that you're getting a lot of fluids in and your child is getting a lot of fluids in because if you don't drink a lot of fluids, you're going to get sick and your child is most likely, obviously, already sick if you're watching this video. And so, having the knowledge of knowing that they are indeed drinking enough water is great. And if you want this sticker, I will have it linked down below. It's my own product and it's amazing. It lets you track how much water you're drinking. Anyways, and then this is actually my favorite chapstick, but making sure they have chapstick because a lot of times if they have congestion or something like that, it will make their lips chapped and so having some chapstick is really handy. And then also having a pacifier, um, not for soothing necessarily, but for allowing their jaw to move. So if they are sick or have a sore throat or something like that, it's important that they continue to move their jaw. And so having a pacifier is helpful for, helpful for that if they will take one. Lavender is a really great essential oil for helping them sleep and calm them down, down while they're sick. This next one is Germ Destroyer by Plant Therapy. It is incredible and it helps a lot with sickness. Um, another one that I really like is the tummy dries if they're having a bad tummy ache. This 
is a, that was a lifesaver. And then the next one is peppermint that opens up the airways and allows everything to stay open. If you want more essential oil tips, I will have a link down in the description box for other stuff. Cedarwood is great for sleep, allowing him or her to sleep well throughout the night is helpful for them getting better and not getting sick. And this is Immune Boom. It is another one from Plant Therapy. It is really, really good. So I will have all these linked down below as well as my podcast talking about what essential oils you need for the winter. I will leave all that down below. The next one is Sniffle, sniffle Stopper. A Young Living has a, one similar, but that is plant therapy and it is incredible for your babies. The next thing I wanted to show you in the next tip is this watch or some sort of Fitbit or some sort of alarm to where you could put different times for medicine as well as how long they're sleeping, all of that stuff. So I used my watch for that and it was great. And then always find a comfy outfit because it's not in boogers and everything will be on you. So have a nice comfy outfit for yourself because you're going to be cuddling your baby. The next thing is a bubble bath. I always think it's helpful because then that way they stay in it longer. And I always put a little bit of peppermint in there to help their respiratory system and their immune system. Um, and I don't put it in the bathtub, I put it around the bathtub in the shower, so that way it is a little bit better. But that is the bubble bath that we use. It's more natural, um, less toxic than the ones that you see in the like store. Um, this is much better, so I'll have a link for that too. Um, and then I'll put a couple drops of that in the shower, not in the bathtub, and then I'll fill the bathtub with that soap and the water and allow him to or her to just sit in there. And what that does is allow their respiratory system to open up with the steam and um, having the peppermint to help them. Again, a couple drops will do you, don't do too much. Uh, the next thing is clean their toys in the bath room because sometimes that can harbor bacteria. And so just cleaning that up will also help make sure that everything stays clean and um, not harboring anything else. But giving them plenty of toys is also very helpful for allowing them to enjoy being in the bathtub and allowing them to sit for as long as they need to, um, to be able to give them the best chance at their respiratory system. And so that is what that is all about. And that's it. Thank you so much guys for watching this video. I hope that this was helpful for you and gave you some really good tips for you and your sick baby. Um, and yeah, I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Bye.